Hi guys, this is your friendly neighborhood yawning cat and we are here with the cast video and a makeover video at that. And it is a video for the upcoming LP 16 and pregnant on my channel. Now, first and foremost, a little disclaimer and I think I'll say it in the first episode as well. Uh, I'm not an advocate for teen pregnancy. I don't think there's anybody in their right mind that is an advocate for teen pregnancy that says you know drop out of school or like um you know just get pregnant at 16 or 17 or whatever but the fact is that things like this happen and they're not something to be ashamed of if anything we should support people and women and families that are raising kids at a very young age themselves so 16 and Pregnant is an LP that stems from the Single Mom LP, which was um, a Let's Play centered on the Parenthood game pack that we got. Um, and Annie, um, the, well, one of the two main characters so far in the LP, is uh, definitely, definitely, definitely uh, very very essential to the LP um, and I would suggest checking out the single mom LP just so you would get a better sense of how she grew up what was her background um, how did she do in you know in school and with her mom and with her dad and with her family in general and why things happened the way they did uh, because you know this is a cast video I'm not here to tell you the entire story man um, so yeah I'll put up a card in this video so you could check out the whole playlist of the single mom LP but let's get back to the fact that we are giving Devin and Annie a makeover now Annie needed a makeover so badly in my opinion because the outfit that I gave her, the outfits that I gave her before this makeover, they were good, they were cool, they were fine. But the more I played her, the more I was like, this isn't your style, your style is a lot more down to earth, you know, more like um, cozy and maybe even a little bit bohemian. So I tried to play along with that. Uh, how well did I do? Well, you're, you are the only judge of that. You can, you know, write it in the comment section. But I wanted to give her a change. I wanted her to cut her hair, to dye it red, because I feel like she wanted to have ginger hair. And, um, she just saw it and she was like, you know what, that's what I want. Um, I just wanted her to experiment a little bit with her hair and definitely with her sense of fashion i just wanted to give her something fresh something cozy and something very autumny and wintry because i mean winter is coming brace yourselves i mean um i wanted her to look cozy and sort of um just feel feel more like herself because the outfits that i had given her before didn't quite fit her character you know um, and as for Devin, I did give him a little makeover. Uh, he did have very simple clothing before and he still has a simple-ish style. But now I feel like he has a couple of outfits that really stand out, that really speak for who Devin is, you know. Um, cause before then he was living with his mom and he didn't have, you know, that much money and he didn't really feel the need to dress up because he didn't have a girlfriend, he didn't have anybody to impress, he was just going to work uh, to earn some extra cash and he was coming back home to do his homework and stay at home with his mom. So I felt like he needed something, you know, like he needed something different, something colorful, something that would fit the aesthetic of their new apartment too, something that would fit their artistic uh, style, you know. So I went for uh, Bohemian. I feel like I used a lot of the uh, movie hangout stuff, pack stuff that we got for him at least. Um, the harem, or they're not harem pants, the low hanging crotch pants uh, were from get together I think so I just tried to give him like this laid back teen style that also has a really bohemian artistic vibe to it and same goes for Annie so that's what I went for if you've got any suggestions at all about what you know kind of hair you would like to see on them or Maybe you would want one of them to get tattoos or both of them get tattoos or maybe you've got ideas about like any of their clothes or just 
If you have any suggestions at all, write them down below. Uh, maybe you would like a different hair color for Annie or a different hairstyle, whatever. You know, just write it down because I'm taking mental notes, man, and I am putting it to play. So be sure to write down your suggestions because they will be definitely used. Um, at this point also in the channel, I have 21 subscribers and I'm really, really happy about it. Like, I'm so super excited to have so many of you. I mean... One of you is my husband, sure, but uh, <laughs> I am just so glad to have you guys uh, watching my LPs and watching what I create. And I really love the positivity that you guys are sharing. There have been a couple of people, I think one of you is called Sarah. I can even go to my YouTube channel right now and check out what your name was. I know Major Foxes is a big contributor of positivity and i really really love it like i i love it so much i love seeing positive comments and not because i'm one of those people that wants to just hear positivity and stuff but because um i want to hear from you guys because you're real people and i want to hear what you have to say you know so yeah there's major foxes uh there's sarah mclendon you've been commenting on my parenthood lp so far so i'm really really happy about that i'm really happy you joined us girl um yeah i mean i'm scrolling through esme sims also uh two two months ago was the uh last comment from you but um you know i oh also jake's gameplays uh wonderful wonderful love you guy love you guys <laughs> So I'm just really, really happy that there are people that are commenting on my videos and are enthusiastic about what we're creating together. So I'm just so thankful. And the more you comment, the happier the entire channel will be because I will get to hear your input and we will get to chat because I do definitely engage uh, since... Major Foxes has been writing the most. We've been freaking chatting in the comments and I've been just really, really enjoying it. So you guys are super awesome and I love you and oh my goodness. Um, I really never thought that I would be at this point where I would be really, really stoked to do this. But my YouTube channel has become, well, our YouTube channel has become something that I really love going to and working on and improving and uh i hope you guys appreciate that too so yeah um i gave these two a makeover because i wanted them to have a change of style before everything started and by the time that i'm doing the voiceover for this video i have recorded three or how many three or four parts of the 16 and pregnant um episodes already and I do encourage you to comment because while I'm filming, and I do have to sort of pre-record, uh, if you know my story, it's because I cannot uh, do it any other way because I have a uh, 30 hours per week job. It's uh, it sort of, you know, takes away my time and whatever time I have left, I try to, you know, give to my husband and to this channel and a little bit to myself as well. I would like to watch some TV shows and uh, chill a little bit. But yeah, I tried to, you know, divide up my time. And since Two Bro Girls and Parenthood are both done for a week and a half now or like two weeks, I've been really focusing on building like these stories and preparing for these LPs. So um, I mean, pets and 16 and pregnant. So if you have um, if you have any ideas, write them down in the comments under the episodes that are going to be coming to this channel. And I will definitely read them and definitely incorporate them as soon as I start filming after reading your comments. If that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Um, so yeah. Uh, I can give you a little update about myself, I guess. Uh, so it's uh, it's autumn here in uh, Lithuania. It's it's pretty. It's um, well, it's rainy, but there are some very beautiful autumny days, and I love the cold. But I also hate the fact that we are right now living in a pretty big apartment. 
which has really shitty heating because for some reason our pipes are just effed up and nobody is trying to fix anything and our landlord is a freaking douchebag and he's not doing anything for us so we're basically i am right now wearing a shirt a sweater and like a a uh, shirt that has fleece inside, so it's like a shirt that's supposed to be worn like a jacket Like a shirt, you know, like a button-down shirt, but this one has a zipper So I'm basically wearing three layers a pair of pants and really really warm cozy socks And my feet are still freezing and I still have to keep my hands under my legs right now So that they wouldn't freeze so I am kind of hating my living situation right now, but recording videos and uh, just interacting with you guys is really, really helping a lot because I get to take my mind off of the fact that I can't feel my feet. So there you go. <laughs> um, I've been singing some. Um, I've been giving private concerts to my husband. He's been uh, very excited. Uh, yes, by the way, I sing and I'm uh, pretty amazing at it. Uh, no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm not excellent. I'm no Mariah Carey uh, in her youth. I'm no Beyonce, uh, but girl knows I know how to sing. Um, and yeah, I've been I've been just chilling with you guys doing stuff. I'm really excited about pets. I didn't think I was going to be that into it, but it's, I'm not gonna say that it adds a whole lot to the game because in whole honesty it doesn't it doesn't really add that much to the game itself it adds pets and pets themselves add a lot but I feel like after like half a year I'll definitely be over it you know uh, I feel like city living was one of those expansions that kept me interested and I'm still interested in city living up to this point like I love apartments I love the festivals I love the food I love the fact that you can uh, learn new recipes cook them at home I love the diversity of city living I feel like with pets I don't know there's just something there just, there's just something there that doesn't feel like it's quite as big you know but as for the pets aspect itself i am super super excited like i'm excited to get households uh in my lps that are not going to be active households and just put pets into them like i'm excited to see pets in the world like i feel like that's as much as pets can do and that's as much as the cats and dogs expansion pack has done it has added another like realistic layer to the story of sims it has added animals to a world with only like npc creatures like you know bugs and did we have birds before i thought we did but they weren't like you couldn't at all interact with them so i mean we had fish but fish are stupid so i mean um i feel like they could have done more I'm not sure how much more they could have done. I don't work at EA. I don't work with video games. I don't know how many resources and programming goes into that. But I feel like for 40 bucks, they could have given a little bit more to do. You know what I'm saying? They could have had pet competitions, cat exhibitions. They could have had dog exhibitions, dog training competitions. They could have added events. And they could have added, like you can train your pet, right? So you, they could have created an event where you could take your pet and if they perform well with um, tricks and stuff, they get a prize. And like you have a cat, right? And if you brush it and maybe like, why can't you wash your cat? That's also a stupid thing. Cats, you can wash cats. Cats are scared of water, but if you start washing them since they're little kittens, they can do really well in bathtubs and everything. So I thought like with cats, you could like brush them and wash them with like fancy shampoo and give them like super treats and like super nutrient foods and then take them to cat exhibitions. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought there would be more to do with pets. Uh, dogs, you can take them out, you can play fetch with them, they can swim, that's pretty cool. But with cats, they're sort of just there 
and I feel like there's a lot more to do with cats and even during the live stream when they were playing around with cats and dogs and even showing cat and dog breeds in cats they didn't give cats as much attention and I feel like in game there's also not as much attention towards cats and cats can be really entertaining and exciting and I don't I don't feel like pets are as exciting right now as they could have been. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But guys, um, that was my little mini rant. I told you a little bit about myself. If you want to comment down below and open up a discussion with me, feel free to do that in the comment section below. If you like this video, then click the like button. And if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed to the fam, then do join in because we have so much fun together. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye!